Good morning, students. Today we'll do programming uh, on Q. Already we have discussed in, in class that uh, Q is a linear data structure. That means the data are stored linearly in the memory. Q is based on the principle of uh, FIFO, that is first in, first out. That means the element which is inserted first into the Q is to be deleted. Uh, first rather in stack uh, that is based on principle of lipo that means last in first out the last input value will be uh, deleted uh, deleted first so this is lipo and q it is fifo there are mainly two operation associated with q that is insert operation and delete operation similarly here in q also while we are inserting that uh, value, inserting a value into the um, queue, we will check uh, that whether the queue is a overflow condition uh, or not. That means it satisfy it. If it satisfy the overflow condition, then inserting is not possible. Overflow means the queue is full. Similarly, for delete operation, we will check whether uh, the queue is in underflow condition or not. If it is in underflow condition, then delete is not possible. Underflow means there is no element in the queue. In this program, we have implemented the queue using array. We can imp uh, we can implement uh, queue in through linked list also. In this uh, queue, we have uh, take a constant value that is size, which value is five. It cannot be changed. The size value cannot be changed. Um, uh, there are two or three operation we have taken insert operation delete operation and display function insert function delete function and display function insert function uh, takes one argument and that is the, the data which is to be inserted into the queue delete operation will delete the uh, delete one value that means which value the first value the first value uh, in the queue is to be deleted first the, and display function will display the element present in the queue. We have uh, take the array item as uh, queue and its size is here 5. We have initialized two variable here front equal to minus 1 and rear equal to minus 1. In the queue uh, we have two variable front value variable front value and rear value. Always uh, the uh, value is inserted at rear end and deleted at front end. Deleted at front end and inserted at uh, rear end. Uh, in general, when in real life also, suppose we are here in a queue. Suppose in uh, uh, we have we are uh, we have gone to a um, uh, banking uh, bank or a railway reservation counter. Then always we insert always we uh, position ourselves in the last at, at the uh, end of the queue. But um, the man will be out from the front value front um, front of the queue, right? So similarly also in this queue strong data structure the data is to be inserted at uh, front uh, inserted at rear end and uh, deleted at front end initially the front value is equal to minus one and rear is value is equal to minus one okay so <coughs> let's see the insert function how the insert function works here okay so insert function will take the value which is to be inserted okay so already we have discussed before inserting the data into the queue first we will check whether the queue is full or not okay so the condition is if rear value is equal to size minus one if rear value rear value is equal to size minus one then we can say the queue is in full the queue is in full condition queue is overflow condition okay the rear cap value just size size jo hai, max size size means it is nothing but, nothing but the maximum size of the queue minus one queue dikha gaya hai kyunki hum log ka index value zero se start ho raha hai array mein okay so rear ka value jab size uh, ke saath same ho jayega then we can say queue is full else else 
if q is not in full condition then we can insert the value so how we can insert if front equal to equal to minus 1 suppose front ka value minus 1 hai then hum log kya karenge front equal to 0 and rear equal to 1 rear rear plus plus okay front ka value 0 ho jayega and rear ka value increment ho jayega by 1 okay Item of rear, rear ka position, rear abhi position kya hoga? Initially minus 1. So rear ka value abhi kya hoga hai? 0. So rear equal to 0. Item of 0 value equal to value. 0 position mein value insert ho gaya. Okay. Now suppose rear value is equal to 1 at the next iteration. Then item of 1 equal to that value. At that position front value will not be changed. Front value will be changed when the delete operation will occur. Okay. While inserting the operation, only the rear value will be incremented. Okay. Next, it will display a message that inserted value is the value. Next, we come to the delete operation. In the delete operation, delete function, first we will check whether the queue is empty or not. The, um, the condition is front if front equal to minus 1. If the value of front equal to equal to minus 1, that means no data is present in the queue, then we can say the queue is empty. Okay. So, if no data present in the queue, then delete is not possible. If this condition is false, then delete is possible and the deleted item is item of front. Front value jume jo item hai, usi ko hi hum delete karing. Item of front and front value will be incremented. If front is greater than rear, then front equal to rear equal to minus 1. Jab front ka value rear se jada ho jayega, then dono ka value kya ho jayega? Initialize ho jayega minus 1. Matlab initial condition, initial um, status mein a jayega. Okay. So, this is what the delete, delete uh, operation. So, let's see with the main function. We can go to the main function. So, first it invoke the delete function. So, as in this program, we have just initialized the front value is equal to minus 1 and rear value is equal to minus 1. So, that means the queue is empty. So, suppose we want to delete, suppose uh, and here we want to delete, we invoke the delete function. So, what will display? It will display the what? It will display that if front value equal to minus 1, then kya dikhaega? Queue is empty. Q is empty. Okay. And insert function. So now it will um, invoke the insert function with value 10. With value 10. Now insert function will call. Now value equal to 10. And uh, here this condition will be false. So uh, front value equal to 0. And rear value equal to 0. Item of rear equal to 10. Again similarly for 20. What will be the value of front? Front equal to 0 and rear equal to 1. Item of 1 equal to 20. Okay. Similarly, the uh, uh, it will uh, insert up to 50. So, what will the size? Size equal to 5. Size is 5. So, it is 10 is inserted at 0 position. Uh, 20 is inserted at 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now 60. When we want to insert 60 value, then what will happen? 60 value jab insert ho jayega kya hoga? Rear value equal to how much? Rear value is 4. 4 is equal to size minus, minus 1 that is 4. Rear equal to 4. 4 equal to 4. Now it will display Q is full. So when we want to insert value 60, then it will display Q is full. Because now value of rear equal to the size minus 1. 4 equal to 4. Okay. Next, it will display, we invoke the display function. So, display function, where is the display function? So, here is the display function. If rear equal to minus 1, it will display Q is empty. Else, here we have declared a local variable i and uh, from for i equal to front, front value say rear value tak, wo sara value kya karega? Print karega, item of i. Okay. So, it will display all the value all the value okay now in the main function suppose we want to invoke the delete function suppose we want to invoke the delete function so delete function will be executed 
Now, if front equal to minus 1, Q is empty, so this condition will be false. Else, else part will be executed. Which element will be deleted? Item of front. Front item, front uh, position mein jo item hoga, wo pehle delete hoga. And front value will be incremented. Okay. So, let's see. Let's run the program. So in this way, we can uh, do uh, the programming uh, uh, of uh, queue. So mainly there are two operation, insert operation and delete operation. And um, for insert operation, we, you know, we invoke, we always check the, um, we always check for the over, over, overflow condition and for delete operation we'll check the in the underflow condition see so in the main function in the main function first we uh, invoke the delete function so as the edge initially the queue is empty so it will display queue is empty so now first we insert we have inserted 10 value so inserted 10 inserted 20 inserted 30 inserted 40 inserted 50 now when we insert value of 60 then it will display Q is full and while we are invoking the display function it, it will display Q elements are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Now which element is to be deleted? First in, first out. First in, cons of what? 10. So it will be deleted. Deleted value is 10 and the Q elements are 20, 30, 40, 50. Agree? So this is how we can do programming on Q. Uh, the application of queue is very vast. In real life, uh, we have we uh, implement the queue or the queue is implemented in every queue. That means queue is a line. Okay. So for banking, uh, uh, for ticket reservation, anywhere where the discipline is maintained, we maintain queue. And um, in computer, uh, queue is implemented uh, in job scheduling for keyboard buffer. For device management, that means for printer or disk, uh, tree traversal. For tree traversal also, uh, the queue is implemented. So implementation of queue is very fast. Um, in the next class, we'll uh, discuss programming on linked list. Thank you.